वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ सी ए गुरु राज्य गुरु यू आर वॉचिंग अ वीडियो ऑफ वेल्थ मंत्र टूडेज टॉपिक इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर दोज हु आर इंटरेस्टेड टू इन्वेस्ट इन द मार्केट सो माई डियर फ्रेंड्स इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड टू इन्वेस्ट इन द मार्केट और इन द शेयर मार्केट देन देर इज ऑलवेज अ डाउट ऑफ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम वेर टू स्टार्ट वेर टू इन्वेस्ट विच स्टॉक इज बेटर इज इट बेनिफिशियल फॉर मी टू इन्वेस्ट इन द मार्केट और नॉट It's my humble request to all that please watch this video till the last or till the end and if you are watching a very first time my video in this channel then please press the bell icon and subscribe my channel so my dear friends all your questions where to start which stock is better how to invest in the market is it beneficial for me to invest in the market all your questions are answered in a single question so let's start directly with the uh, session The session name is a stock selection framework. So, my dear friends, in the market, if you see that there are number of stocks in the, number of stocks are listed in the BSE and NSE. Say, for example, there are 500 stocks, but you want to invest or you want to make your portfolio with the five to ten stocks only. So, where to start? It's a biggest question. Or which stock is best among all such 500 stocks? Uh, to find out these kind of stocks are very difficult. so my dear friends based on my personal experience or based on my personal investment strategy i have divided this video into three parts a first filter criteria financial stability filter and number 3 it's a price filter or we can say that according to fundamental analysis i have divided this video into two parts number one a qualitative analysis and second a quantitative analysis so our first filter criteria is a qualitative analysis and if you are doing a qualitative analysis of any company then you have to generally ask these five questions to the company or to your to your on self number 1 it's a nature of business whether the business of company it's easy to understand or it is tough to understand second the management whether the management of the company is sound or it is it is poor uh, in decision making number 3 the position of the position in the industry whether the company is located at a better stage or at a down stage number 4 geographical area number 5 outlook of the company industry government policies etc etc if you ask all such uh, all these five questions and if you are satisfied with your answer then you uh, pass this quality to analysis criteria and number 2 is a financial stability filter so my dear friends uh, in fundamental analysis or this uh, stock selection framework this financial stability filter it's a very very important part so according to quantitative analysis you have to pass generally by these seven questions number 1 a dividend payout so in any company dividend payout must be uh, more than or equals to 10 years second earning so there is no deficit in last 10 years number 3 growth so growth is minimum of 3 percentage there is a minimum 3 percentage increase in eps on quarter to quarter basis or on a year on year basis number 4 P ratio, P ratio means price to earning ratio. So my dear friends, price to earning ratio must be a less than of 15 times, or we can say that price of the stock does not exceed to 1.5 times of the book value. Book value. Number five, a minimum revenue. Minimum revenue of the company must be a more than 500 millions equals to 500 lakhs. Then point number six, it's a current ratio. So my dear friends, current ratio means it is a current asset. Current asset is compared with the current liability. If this current ratio if this current ratio equals to 2 is to 1 or we can say that if current asset of the company is two times of the current liability then company is at a better stage and last criteria is a long term loan so long term loan does not exceeds to net current asset so you can find out net current asset by applying a formula of current asset minus current liability if this long term loan does not exceeds uh, does not exceeds to a net current asset so again we can say that company is at a better position So my dear friends hope for the best that this qualitative analysis and quantitative analysis are helps you a lot while selecting the stock in the market or and if you passes from all such three filter criteria then you can easily move such kind of share or stock in your portfolio so thanks for watching this video till the end till the last please subscribe my channel press the bell icon hit the like button and comment if you like this video